Hi, Nan. It's Christy and Alexis from Noah's Ark. We wanted to share a few pointers and ideas with you on making um, quick and easy toys. This is our um, paper roll shredding toy. This is the large size, and I'm going to be showing you some tricks with the extra large size. Please don't mind my dyed fingernails because, yes, I had a malfunction in my gloves, so my nails look like... I got in a fight with a Smurf and Barney. I have no idea, but it's pretty gross. Anyways, um, on this toy, I incorporated nuts into the paper roll because we've got a screamer at our house. So there are almonds rolled up inside of the paper roll. Now this is six inch wide corrugated paper that we sell on the website with the five inch skinny bagel and our paper rope and then i put i put the squares pine squares in between it strung on cecil rope so when i started making this toy i had a problem with getting my cecil through here it was a pain in the butt it would get stuck i would get pissed off and basically want to chuck the toy across the room because i couldn't get it to go through smoothly so this is what i had came up with to make the process easier for me once you get your, this is manila rope now because we're doing the extra large, which we're going to start carrying manila rope on the website. So I made my knot and then I put my pine cube on and made another knot. And then I got an extra long drill bit to drill my bagels after I got my paper and stuff rolled in here. And what I did is after I drilled my hole all the way through, I stuck a big malt straw in here to help guide my, my manila rope. And it makes the whole process so much easier and you're not fighting with it. So this is a quarter inch wide manila rope. And all you have to do is just put it into the straw. To feed it through. So it's coming out the other side. Now that my rope is on the other side, I'm going to pull the straw off and I'll have no fighting with that rope getting it through that paper. And I mean, I have a problem with a lot of materials I use with the rope getting stuck. So I came up with the straw idea. If you are using a smaller drill hole, then just use a regular straw. But as soon as you drill that, you can put the straw in there for a guide and leave it. And then I'm just going to make another knot on the other side of this. So if the bird were to chew through the rope that the rest of the toy don't fall apart. And then I'm going to do my next cube. And then once I put my cube on or my wood, I always push on that to try to tighten that knot up even more. And then I'm going to do another knot. just for extra security and because the birds love to do knots, so this will keep them busy. And then I'll move on to my next color, which is going to be the orange. And again, I'll just, well, this is now a little bit frayed, but feed my rope into my straw. It came out the other side, so now I can pinch that straw pull it all the way through and move on to the next one. So you guys get the idea, but this is my little trick of the day to help you guys so you don't get frustrated when you're trying to string your toys. Because I know for myself, that Italian temper don't sit well when my rope don't go through my toys just the way I want it to. So it just cut my time down on my toy a whole lot because I'm not struggling with it. So this is just something quick and easy you guys could do at home and you could implement that with some of your toys that you make that use paper or paper shred and hopefully it will make it easier for you. And this is the last piece that goes on there. Well, I'm gonna have to turn that. There it goes. 
I have to put the other block on, but voila. And then fix my paper, of course. But makes it so much easier. So I hope that helps you guys. And again, on this one, I put nuts inside it as well to keep our Malak in a happy camper so he can forage and shred and have a good time with us. You guys have a great day.